Okay guys, today we have an unboxing from Amazon. I love the way Amazon packages their stuff. Usually the boxes are like way too big. This one's quite long. Let's open her up. Okay. Where can I mount the camera? Okay, so it comes in this box here. Look at that. Aeropress. Aeropress. Wow. This thing came in, I would say, three days. at the most very very fast I actually just got noticed yesterday that it's being delivered so Okay, we get, looks like 350 filters. Wait for me to put the filter in. And how to make your coffee, guys. Very cool indeed. Well, here's all the parts, the instructions. Look at now I can make some great coffee. Alright guys, just a little bit of footage from the past. I think this was from two years ago. I just had to show you this though. It's, this place is called uh, Flower Pot Rocks. It's where the highest tide in the world was um, recorded. Actually from across the bay, you can see the land way across the bay there. That's where the highest recorded uh, tide was ever recorded what was ever recorded uh i think it was something like 53 or 57 feet so when you're at the bottom of the uh, when it's low tide just like it is here um it's 57 feet up <laughs> that the tide comes in and all these little 
holes in here when the tide does come in it's where fish come in and hide good places for them to to hide and creep around in but anyway across the bay is a place called burnt coat I tried to look up why they called it burnt coat there's a couple of reasons why they saw maybe saw a burnt coat uh, out there at the time You can see the rocks. It looks like just sand with rocks piled on it and stuff. But it is like cement. I tried to pull out uh, a couple of rocks and had no luck at all. It is very, very hard. Every day the tide goes in and out and just pounds away on these rocks here and forms this like it is. And uh, I don't know how long it takes the tide to go in or out. I think it's something like six to eight hours or something. So you can see that the waves are going to pound against here for quite a while. And uh, I did try to pick some of the rocks out of there and I just could not do it. So let's have a look at some of this, uh, some of the scenery here. It's just fantastic. This side is called Flower Pot Rocks. Very commercialized. Uh, to get in here costs money. Uh, to get, there's a stairway to come up and down to get down in here. I think if you're ever caught down here when the tide is coming in, uh, you're, you're finished. You're going to have to swim. There is no way to get out. Uh, unless you go up the stairs. On the other side, the same way at Burnt Coat, um, the, um, when the tide is coming in, you better know it's coming in and get out of there because there is only one way to get out up the little stairs that they have there. So, Anyways, guys, the, uh, the camera doesn't do this any justice, but these things, this rock here is just massive. It's huge. And you can see the people there they're not close to the rocks so you can't really get a judgment but look at the plants way on top of the rocks here the tide doesn't quite go that high on this side but it goes uh, when the Sun and the moon are lined up together is when it's the highest that's when they get the highest tides is when the Sun and the moon together are pulling on the ocean and when you're there in real life and you see that the water especially on the burnt coat side when you see how far away the water is at low tide and then it goes 53 feet up above your head not every single day but 53 feet that's a massive amount of water that's being moved uh, from way out there from, like it must be a mile out Fish must come in and they find their little hidey places. Now here I'm going to try to pick out a rock from the uh, from here. It's sticking right out and you think it would just you grab it and it fall right off. Like this big rock here. I pulled pretty hard on that thing. I can't get it out. So it's like welded on there. And then the uh, plants and stuff, they retain the water so that they don't dry out when the tide goes out. That's what. So I, I did pick one rock out, a small rock. I picked it out, but it was hard. And it looks like just, well, that's what it is, packed sand. And then rocks mixed in. And then, like I said, the water is, is beating on it all the time as the tide is going in and out. 
some of the plants just amazing never seen those before if anybody knows what they're what they are let me know in the back there's the stairs to get up and out it's the only way to get out from uh, down here <coughs> So, like I said, when the tide's coming in, you better know to get there quick. Because when, I know it takes hours for the tide to go in and out, but when you're down there, it just seems like it's fast. It's like coming in real fast. So, flower pot rocks, guys. That's what it looks like. Upside down flower pots, I guess, or right side up. I don't know, but it's... Trees on the top look like they're ready to fall over, but they don't. And on the burnt coat side, it's um, here it's more sandy where you're walking, but on the burnt coat side, it's it's rock, hard rock, but it's like sandpaper. You can't slip and slide on it at all. All right, guys, thank you for coming out and watching the From the Past video. Thanks, guys.